have any music on a flat? What was this? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna talk to you about FUBAR. I'm your FUBARista. <music> Having your stuff on the cloud is nice on Google Play and Amazon, whatever, Spotify and some other services. That's cool, it's convenient, I get it. But there's a lot of stuff that's not on there. And what if you wanted to have stuff on your own drive? Well, FUBAR is the best solution. I've made a few videos about this in the past showing some really nerdy stuff about how to theme it and set it up correctly. But in this video, I'm going to make it really easy and just show you a couple of things that you can do to give yourself a very sleek and simple uh, audio player that can do just about anything. But first, how about you activate your copy of Windows? Don't be a slob. Before we get started, let's head over to WhoKeys and unlock our copy of Windows. By using coupon code TS25, you can get 25% off these prices here. I use Windows 10 Pro. You can also get Windows 10 Home, and both of these will upgrade to Windows 11. You can get that. Also, note that the Windows 10 keys have been working with Windows 11. Google it and make sure that this is still a thing whenever you're purchasing your key. Also, I want to note that if you get Windows 10 Home and you upgrade it to Windows 11, they will force you to use an online account. With Windows 11 Pro, however, you can use a local account, just so you know. You can also get Office 2019 with that same discount, or if you like, you can get Windows 10 Pro and Office 2019 in a bundle and save even more. So go ahead and put TS25 in here as your coupon code, hit it apply, and then you can see we can get Windows 10 Pro for $14.85. Once you're finished, if you want to access your key, you click on your name on the top right, click on user center, and you'll see my purchase orders. Right here, you'll be able to view the keys that you've purchased just by clicking on view keys and codes. Then you will see your code right here. Just go ahead and copy this code, press start, type activate, and you'll see activation settings come up. Click on that, then click change product key. Right there, you can paste in your code and hit next, and then you will be activated. It's very simple. So don't pay those retail prices for your copy of Windows or Office. Head over to whokeys.com and use coupon code TS25. All right, we've got Windows activated. Now, um, this is also brought to you by me. I make some music. If you like video game style music uh, of various sorts, or maybe even metal with a little bit of a video game vibe going on, please check out my music. It's vihander.bandcamp.com. And this is where you can go to get lots of interesting music from independent artists. You know, like when you're there and you're like, I kind of heard all the top 40 stuff and I've kind of heard all the stuff that they keep throwing at me and the algorithm knows I like certain things, but what if you want to break out of the algorithm and hear something totally different and expand your horizons? Browsing around on Bandcamp is a great way to do that. You can just come here. Uh, I like to scroll down to the bottom and see what's new. As you can see here, you can let's say like, okay, how about some experimental stuff? What do we got? Noise. Oh yeah, that's like where people rub broken glass on their on their face and stuff, and then scream. Uh, that's fun. Let's let's go over here to metal. What do we got? Some cool looking. Oh, the black. Yes. Oh oh, I need to get that. I forgot about this. So you can come here and grab stuff. Once you do, you click on the heart, and you can simply say like, okay, I want to download. Let's get oh some. So Lunar Womb, yes. Very peaceful album. Click on download, and then you pick your file format. They do not have Opus, but they've got, if the, the best quality thing that's compressed is the AAC. Uh, if you want open source, Og Vorbis is about the same quality, but it's open source, so I'll grab that. So now you got some files, but you need something to play them with. Let's go ahead and get a copy of FUBAR. And um, in order to get a really nice theme up and running, you just need to get a couple of things. We're going to get FUBAR by going to FUBAR2000.org. And right here on the front page, you'll see download. Just click on that. Bring us here. And then we have some options here. I usually just grab the latest stable version and just click Save File. Now, the only other thing we're going to need is a theme. And you can come over here and browse around through some of these themes. Pick the one you like the most. I found Georgia a little bit more difficult to get up and running to my spec. Uh, if you're very used to iTunes, then String UI is going to be similar. But the one I think is sort of the best mix of style and function for me, other than running my own theme, I always run my own theme uh, for FUBAR. I'll show you what mine looks like right now. But I've already made a video on how to theme it like this. So we'll just put that back over there. We're going to grab this theme. It's called Eoli. So right here's the link to grab it on GitHub. Click on that. And here we are on GitHub. This might be intimidating to people who do not use GitHub all the time. You scroll around, you're like, where do I download this thing? Okay, the download is on the right-hand side right here. See releases, click on that. And then we can scroll down and click on source code zip. Just click on that 
and it'll start downloading. If it doesn't start downloading, then you know, click yes or whatever. So there we go, that's all we need. I'm gonna press Control J to open up my downloads just so I can see what I'm doing here. Open up my download folder. And there's my foobar. So I'm gonna to click to install foobar. Uh, when you get to this screen, make sure you do the portable installation. That puts all the files into one folder. So this is gonna be really important when you're installing themes. You don't want any weird files in your documents or your app data. Portable installation, everything goes into one folder. And also, if you wanted to move this between computers, you can just copy and paste this to a flash drive and it'll work. I'm gonna call this foobar2000 theme because I'm showing you, you can just call it FUBAR2000 or any folder you want. Okay, doing the full installation, install. First run FUBAR. Oh my, that's ugly. We don't have to worry about that, just close it. We're gonna install a theme now. So here's the folder that I just installed FUBAR into. There it is. Now we need to open the Eoli FUBAR theme right there. Inside here, there's a folder. Open that up, we've got all these folders, we need to throw them into the right places. So user components, that just goes into components. Unless you've installed this in a way that you need the user components. We have a program or a little thing here called Profile. This will only show up after you've opened FUBAR. So there it is. Themes and plugins go into the Profile folder. The rest of this doesn't matter. So we can close it. Now when we open up FUBAR again, it's going to do something weird. It's going to be like, hey, different user interface. So Columns UI enables the use of these themes. Hit OK. And now we have a theme, theming yes, there we go. Okay, it doesn't matter, just okay. Preferences, display, columns, import configuration, right inside the foobar folder, profile, themes, Yoli, columns UI, hit okay, okay. It's gonna ask you some things. You wanna load all the covers at startup, yeah. I mean, you can keep them loaded in memory if you want to go crazy, but um, that should do. I'll do 250. Validate. Okay. There we go. This is our theme. There's no music. And it's white. Should we fix the night theme first? There we go. And we have tabs. We have a library. No music found. Genre, artist, album. It's a nice organization, even without anything there. The playlist and the now playing and the visualization. All right, well, they're all white, but we've got a little switch here for light and dark. I'm gonna do dark on all of them, but you can keep it light if you like it. It's up to you. And then we have visualization. It just says spec. If you remember back in the day, people who had um, Winamp and stuff, if you had Winamp, you could run some crazy visualizations and that's very easy to do. So let's fix the fact that we have no music and let's fix the visualizations all right now by clicking on foobar, file, references and then we need a media library so click on media library and we can add multiple folders or we can just add one folder so wherever your music is you can just click on add and add that my music folder look at all my stuff it's not much i don't even know what's in those cool i've just got a few things here as sample content oh it's starting to show up already there it's coming in all right cool and then we need that visualization. Oh, whoop, clicks down here. Visualizations spec. This was installed when we uh, dragged and dropped all the stuff from that folder. Now what we need to do is have a copy of Winamp. Luckily that theme came with a copy of Winamp, so we just need to navigate to that. Here. Navigating to your foobar folder, and then to your profile folder, and then in there there's plugins, and then there's Winamp. Okay. Oh, it found the, the available plugins right there. So if we hit OK, everything should be fine. All right, click on all over here. It's starting to get these thumbnails. They're coming in. Cool. can make them a little bigger. Looks pretty. When you click on this, it brings up this, and we can actually start playing some of this music. Just double-click to let you see how it looks when it's playing. I'm not going to have any audio because I don't want to get a copyright strike. We can minimize this. We don't need this. Now, there's a lot more you can do with this. You know, if we go over here to Playlists, we can go to our library playback that shows what's playing right now, this song. You can right click on an entire album, click on properties, change things like the genre, the composers, all that kind of stuff. Add new fields if you like. We can do that or you can go to single files, right click on those. If you want to set an album artwork for something, let's see if we're, there's anything in here that we don't have album artwork for. Okay, one of my albums does not have album artwork. There we go. 
right click on this file and open containing folder. Look at that. There is a cover in there, right there, but it's a PNG. Okay, let's tell FUBAR to look at PNGs. Click on FUBAR, File, Preferences, and then Display. And right here is a list of all the different covers that it will search for. So every time you put a music folder in there, it's going to say like, okay, uh, front.jpg, cover.jpg. It's going to look for things in this order. Well, let's add some more. How about cover.png? I may have to clear the cache, but we'll show you how to do that. And then, you know, we can also do cover. anything you think of. Also, if you want to just say like, okay, if you've gone through all of these and you can't find it, just put any image. So star means any star.jpg. I'll do star dot. There we go. Now, if it can't find anything else, it'll look for any JPEG. And then if it doesn't find a JPEG, it'll look for any PNG. There we go. Now that's going to help us a lot. The only other thing I want you to see before I leave is the keyboard shortcut area. Now, this is really handy. I mean, you can already use like your media hotkeys if you have a keyboard that has them. These are your keyboard shortcuts right now, but I want to add a new shortcut. And uh, let's say I want a shortcut for next track. So next playlist, no, not that one. Next, uh, playback, there we go, playback next. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no, um, let's do, do shift right. So anytime I press shift right, it'll go to the next track and this will work globally. Hit apply if you wanna do any more, have to hit add new first and then look for the next thing. Let's do previous, previous, playback previous. And I'm gonna do shift and back, or shift and left, I mean. Make that a global hotkey. Now, if you've changed a few things and you're not seeing your, your image, you know, your image cache is all messed up, so just right click here, click on settings, and we have all kinds of options. For the cover grid, you know, I'm gonna get rid of the date while I'm here, take off the date, and then settings all the way down at the bottom, refresh images cache. It's like, are you sure there's a lot of images here? Whatever, yes. It's gonna restart. If it doesn't restart, it, sometimes it just closes and you just restart it started and there it found that PNG file. So all is well now. If you um, live on this, you'll be just fine. It It's pretty cool because like it starts, let me just open up a Tom Waits song here. It starts syncing up with Last FM and it pulls the information from Last FM. So you have your own little database here. You can sit here and listen, read some history, check out some photos. This is all just being pulled dynamically from the internet. And then if you wanna just chill out, Put on your visualization. If you want to go full screen, you can right click and then do full screen, or you can just press Alt Enter and then it'll go full, full screen. So here and chill out. Press Shift, right and left. Next track. It's awesome. All right, so there you have it. You have a really cool. All these lights that are happening to me. Let me change. <laughs> you now have a very sleek and a very functional player that'll play all the music that you get from Bandcamp and other sources. The next video, we're gonna talk about video game music and how to get it, where to get it, and how to make it work in FUBAR. There are so many different video game systems out there and each one has their own file type, like video game music with MIDI, mod files, you know, all these different you know, different weird formats that FUBAR does not support. So I'm going to show you how to make all those play very easily. You can get them running right here and right here in this, or you can use uh, just the default player if you like. That's what I do. I still use this player. Let me show you what my player looks like one more time. Not nearly as pretty, but I, you know, I like having all this extra information like bitrate and composer and all that kind of stuff system, you know, like you can do all this stuff with themes, but it's JavaScript and it'll take a while. So, and I think for most people, especially if you have a small music collection, you don't have as many, you know, if you don't have this many genres and this many albums and all that kind of stuff, if you don't have a stupid music collection like mine, this is, uh, this is probably going to be overkill for you and you'll be just fine with a simple and elegant theme like this that only took a couple of clicks to install. So if you have any friends who are stuck on Spotify, but feel like they're getting tired of their music, tell them to go check out Bandcamp, tell them to install FUBAR and run some of this stuff themselves. And then you can get into putting these things on your phone and not having to worry about losing your music or not losing access to your music because you're on a plane or something. I know you can download some stuff with Spotify with premium and, and all that, but it's much easier just to have your own collections of music. So that's how I do it. 
I will see you in the next video. Um, after the video game video, I'm going to do a video showing everyone how to do file tagging and stuff with this and also how to handle moving your files right here inside FUBAR. Very easily organizing and moving your files and stuff. And the last thing we'll do is show you how to convert different file formats and stuff like that. It's a little more advanced, but if you download some like super high quality file formats and you want to compress them without losing any of the quality, I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy and we can do it all right inside FUBAR just with the, you know a couple clicks of our mouse. I'll show you how to do that in the next few videos. So stay tuned for my future FUBAR tutorials. And thanks for checking out Zweihander. Uh, if you like the music, grab it. If you can't afford it, you could probably find it on some illicit websites. See you later.